Hi, this is Mrs. Young, Avon High School Librarian. Um, I'm going to tell you today about where you can find some resources for either persuasive speeches or persuasive essays. So we're going to go to, go to the Avon Community School Corporation page, so www.avon-schools.org, and we're going to click on where it says Select a School and go to Avon High School. Once we're there in the gold bar in the middle, there's a tab that says Library, so we're going to click there. And then just remember, click on the link above my head. I use a Google Sites, so that's how we're getting to that. So click on the link above my head. And then we are going to be doing research. So we're going to be looking for research articles in databases. So we'll click there. And you can see that they are sorted by different topics. And I've got one right there that says controversial issues. So that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to start with this top one that says opposing viewpoints. I do want to show you one piece of information, though. Um, right here, if you are not at school and need to do research, there is a button that says click for passwords for databases. When you click on that, it is going to give you a link um, and ask you for a username and your password. It's your computer network username and password, so your student ID number and your password. Um, once you have that, it'll pull up all of the passwords that you need to use from home. Um, that's really important to remember. Uh, the library pays for you to have access to these databases, and this is not information that you can get from Google or any place else. So um, in order for you to have access to those, we have to password protect them so that everyone can't have access from home. But at school, you should be able to use it just fine. Okay, so we're going to go back over here to where it says Opposing Viewpoints. We'll click on that. And you can see that there is a search bar here. I do want to show you something that I do really like, though, and that's where you click on over here where it says Browse Issues. So in the Browse Issues section, if you don't know what you want to do your persuasive essay on, you can look here and you can see that there are a ton of different things, like there's even national debate topics that they have on there. Um, and just a ton of information that you can look at uh, based upon, you know, figuring out what you want to do. So I'm just going to click on one. Here's recycling. I'll click on that and show you how this works. So there will be a brief overview that kind of gives you a background information on the topic. So if you really don't know a lot about something, this is a really good place to look for your information. You can click on read more and there will be additional information. Um, it'll tell you everything here, what the main ideas are, um, and then background information on the topic. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom, um, there's also a source citation available for you that you would copy and paste and put into a Word document so that you would have your citation. If you click up here on the right hand side where it says cite, if your teacher does have a different kind of citation, APA or Chicago, you can click on any of those and it'll switch it so it's in the proper format. You can download it or select it. Um, you can also notice export it so you can export it to a Google Drive or a OneDrive and it'll put it into the proper format for you as well. So that makes it pretty nice. A um, couple of other features up here that are nice. Um, you can send it to your Google Drive or your OneDrive by using that. You can download the article, print it. You can get the link um, for it. And then you can also highlight and take notes on it as well. So that's a nice feature too. Um, you can make the font larger. You can translate it. And you can also have it read to you too. So nice thing to take a look at here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I will show you then also, I'm back on that page where it said recycling. It will also tell you that there are feature viewpoints. So there are six feature viewpoints where it tells you like both sides to the issue, um, which is a nice thing to look at. Um, there are general viewpoints. So there are 62 additional um, general viewpoints of that. The feature viewpoints is kind of like, hey, if you only have time to read a few articles, these are the ones that you should really focus on. And then viewpoints are as if you're digging a little bit deeper for your research. Um, statistics is a very nice thing to look at because anytime you want to do um, persuasive uh, speech or essay, you're going to want to include statistics. So that's a nice look at that as well. Um, there are videos, images that you can include and use. Um, audio is usually interviews with people from National Public Radio, magazine articles, newspaper articles. It'll tell you here are some good websites to look at. Academic journals if you want to be a little more focused academically. Um, so there's a lot of, and then it'll tell you related topics as well down here below. 
So each and every one of these is a separate source. So if your teacher says something like, hey, I need you to use three sources for your paper or your speech, they're all in here. You don't have to go anyplace else. So this is um, opposing viewpoints is a really good database to use. So I'm going to go back here to the library page and our other controversial issues um, database is called SIRS. So the SIRS uh, database is also a great one to look at and you can do a general search on your topic right there at the top. Um, but it will also say, hey, here are some of the trending topics that we have that you might want to take a look at. Here are the ones that are really good to take a look at. They're editor's picks. And then if you need help choosing a topic, uh, it's all broken down here by different topics, but then you can also go to all leading issues. And then there are going to be just tons of pieces of information um, that you'll be able to look for. Um, I am just going to pick one. I'll pick homelessness here so you can see again how it's set up. There will also be a summary, just like there was in the other one. So you can read the full summary there. This one's broken up by viewpoints. So depending upon which um, view you're taking, these articles support, th support this viewpoint and these articles support this viewpoint. Um, there will also be critical questions that you could answer. Great like thesis statements or um, the main point of your speech. There are some editorial cartoons, there's um, timelines, there's just a lot of information in this. Um, if I go up to these articles here, and by the way, also you can find more sources, so it's not just these six articles, there are more than that. Um, I'm just going to click on one of these again so you can see that you can save it, you can cite it, you can print it, you can email it. There's your summary, it'll read it to you um, just like it did um, with the other one, so real similar setup to that. So as you can see, there are a lot of pieces of information here that you are able to use. Again, not available through Google. These have all been um, tested and approved to make sure they're good quality information for you to use for your topic. Um, good luck on your persuasive speech or essay. Thanks for listening.